Assalamualaikum and hi. So in this video, I'm going to explain the example question of part 4 SCG. So the subtopic of the part 4 is SCG change of a system. This is the example question. A 200 meter cube piston cylinder device contains compressed air at 1 MPa and 300 Kelvin. Determine how much you can be obtained from this air if the environment condition are 100 MPa and 300 Kelvin. Okay, first we draw the diagram and we put the uh, information which are given. So this is a closed system and the initial volume is 200 uh, meter cube and pressure at 1 MPa megapascal and temperature at 100 Kelvin and the surrounding has 100 kPa and the temperature is 300 Kelvin so from this system we know from the uh, XG of a non-flow system this is the equation of the XG of non-flow system and here we know that the uh, internal energy uh, is equal to zero and the temperature at the inside the cylinder and at the environment is equal which is the 300 kelvin and we know the kinetic energy is zero and potential energy also zero so from this equation it uh, reduced to uh, the equation this equation which is the SG of this system is equal to m which is the mass times p naught in a bracket v1 minus v naught minus t naught in a bracket s1 minus s naught so here we already simplified the equation and then we look into the m1 m1 we can calculate from the pv equal to mrt and then uh, we can rearrange the equation m equal to pv divided by rt here we know r is equal to 0 0.287 and from the uh, equation we know that m1 equal to p1 v1 divided by rt1 and the, the value is equal to 23 kg now we look into the second equation p naught times in the bracket v1 minus v2 so PV uh, specific volume equal to RT so V specific volume equal to RT divided by P so here uh, we can rearrange and we can get this equation where P naught uh, in the bracket V1 minus V naught equal to P times RT1 divided by P1 minus RT naught divided by P naught and we can rearrange it this equation to be equal to R T naught times in a bracket P naught divided by P1 minus 1. Now we look into the last uh, uh, terms which is the T naught times in a bracket S1 minus S naught. So we can rearrange it and to be uh, something like this equation and then uh, we put the value V naught uh, and div divided by uh, v1 divided by v0 and we can rearrange and uh, replace all the equation and now we get the uh, equation for t0 times in a bracket s1 minus s0 so from this equation we can calculate the xg of the uh, closed system okay in the previous step, we already looked into the uh, xg of a closed system now we look into the open system so this is the question of the open system and uh, from this question okay the refrigerant 1348 is to be compressed from 0 0.14 mpa and negative 10 degrees celsius so from the figure you can see this is an open system and then we know that the initial pressure p1 is 0 0.4 mpa and the final and the initial temperature is negative 10 degrees celsius so and the question uh, say that the refrigerant is to be compressed to 0 0.8 MPa, the pressure and temperature is equal to 50 degrees Celsius by steadily by a compressor. Okay, so now we look, uh, okay, uh, continue with the question taking the environment condition to be 20 degrees Celsius and then identify KPa. So this is the dead state or the environment state. So determine the XG change of the refrigerant during this process and the minimum work input that need to be supplied to the compressive unit mass of the refrigerant okay first we uh, list down or write the 
XG change of system for a flow system. Uh, so uh, the equation is something like this and from this equation we know that the uh, we can uh, divide it by the mass per unit mass since it does not give any mass value here and from here we know that the kinetic and potential energy is equal to zero since the system is does not move and also there is no change in the elevation and we can simplify this uh, SG equation to be something like this and it is equal to work in minimum okay so from the uh, equation we look into the state one uh, r 134a table saturated the pressure is equal to 0.14 mpa and temperature is minus uh, 10 degrees Celsius. So from this uh, data, we know that uh, we should look into the uh, the temperature here. We look into the pressure pressure table, and at the 0 0.14 MPa, the temperature is uh, smaller than 10 degrees Celsius, which is negative uh, 18.8 degrees Celsius. So it is in the face of superheated. Uh, uh, phase. So now we look into the superheated table. So at the same pressure and temperature, and we found that the H1 is equal to 243.4, and the S1 is equal to 0 0.9922 uh, kilojoule per kg dot Kelvin. So uh, okay, so. Okay, you can see here, this is the uh, pressure and at the 10 degrees Celsius, this is the value of H and this is the value of S. Uh, so from these uh, two value, we can, we can write here. Uh, so we write here. Okay, now we look into the state 2 uh, at the saturated table. Always refer the saturated table first before we look at whether it is in the compressed liquid or superheated condition. So the pressure is 0 0.8 MPa and temperature is equal to 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, first we look into the 0 0.8 MPa here. And the temperature is 31.33, which is uh, smaller than the uh, condition temperature at state 2. So it is in the superheated phase, still in the superheated phase. Now we look into the superheated table at the pressure of equal to 0 0.8 MPa and uh, 0 equal uh, 50 degrees Celsius. So here we know that this is the pressure of 0 0.8 MPa and temperature at 50 degrees Celsius here. Then from here, we know the H value and S value, which is here and also here. So from this, all this value, we can put it into this equation and we can calculate the uh, work in minimum. So as you can see, T node here is the environment temperature, which is at the uh, 20 degrees Celsius and you need to change it into Kelvin okay this is the end of video of part 4 example question chapter 1 hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you